Hello Sagittarius. So I'm going to pull some tarot cards and I'm going to pull some fairy, um, what do you call it? Fairy advice. <laughs> oh, stop judging me. Okay. Yes, I believe in fairies. I've said that on every video because I can feel the judgment. All right, so if any of you are interested in a personal reading, the link is in my link tree that is located in my bio. All right, so Spirit, what energy is around Sagittarius on this full super moon? What is the full super moon energy around Sagittarius? And you pop right out with the King of Wands. You're stopping yourself from a personal victory. Um, we have the six of we have the six of wands in reverse. So there is some kind of battle that you're fighting. I don't know. Let's figure out. It's almost like you don't want to give into it, but you see it. We have the justice coming right out. Okay. So you see what you need to do. Okay, so you see what you need to do. We have the King of Wands and we have the Justice card. The Justice card is all about making something right, setting it right, and balancing things back out. And we also have the Nine of Cups. <sighs> the Nine of Cups is all about your own emotional stability. It's, it's, it's about you focusing on your own emotional stuff, wish fulfillment. It could be with love, it could be with family, but you're giving yourself a block. And the reason why you're giving yourself a block is because I feel like that there could be something that maybe you were wrong about. Maybe you were looking at something and you're like, you know what, I'm going to just chuck this to the wolves and say, fuck it. And now you're realizing that you shouldn't have done that. I feel like that there, it stopped you from having some kind of personal victory or breaking through something. Um, there could be a sense of fear. Um, I'm feeling, especially with the justice card being here, you want to balance certain things out, but you want to do it the way that you want to do it. So there is a sense of you fighting with the universe. It's like, I, I'm the king of wands. I'm the one who's going to do this. I'm the one who's going to, you know, control this. But the universe is letting you know that there is a process that you need to do. There's something that you need to start looking at. There is something that you need to start digging deep within and asking yourself, why are you stopping your blessings from coming to you? So with the justice card being here, there is a sense of needing to balance things out before you can get to your emotional stability. And I feel like that spirit is letting you know to stop blocking yourself. It's almost like if somebody gives you advice to do something energetically, you're like, no, I'm not going to do that. It's almost like... um just being defiant. There is a sense of you being defiant. And there is a sense of you, you know, fine, punish me. You know, like, this is the whole thing. This is the whole vibe that I'm getting. If I can't do it my way, then just punish me. So, I feel like that you're kind of going head to head a little bit when it comes to the universe. But you're going to have to work that out in order to get to your wish fulfillment. So we're going to pull some advice from your fairies and see what your fairies have to say. All right, spirit, what advice do you have? Fairies, Sagittarian fairies, what, do, what advice do you have for my Sagittarius babies? We have abundance. See, you have everything at your fingertips. But you're realizing that something... You're really... I think you're realizing how much something had an effect. And and you probably should... Yeah, we have come together and we have light. Okay. So there's something that you may have discarded and you... You realize that you probably shouldn't have done that. We have abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have. In fairyland and human land, there is enough abundance for everyone. And this is saying, you know, you don't have to be so stubborn. We also have come together. Fairies like to be busy and group 
and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. So there could be a connection that you severed or there could be um, somebody that you just, you know, I don't need you. Move, move away. Go on. You know, there could be a sense of you doing that with somebody. And this is a reminder to you that joining forces with them may be more beneficial than not. We also have light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. So if you're in a state of always being in a dark place, and if there was a person that represents light, you need that balance. You have the justice card. So if you cut the light out of your life, how are you going to get from one space to another? Now, this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This can be a platonic relationship. It could be with a family member, friend, whoever it may be. But there is a sense of you cutting the light out of your life and thinking that you can generate that for yourself. And you possibly can. Okay, but the question is, do you know how to do that? And could this person help you more than what you know? Okay, but there is a sense of you just kind of discarding it and saying, I can do it on my own and leave me alone. Okay, so that is what I have for you for this week, Sagittarius. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon.